Welcome back to Illness Scripts Pencast. Today we are going to discuss a classic diagnosis, typhoid fever. Predisposing factors for typhoid fever largely center around endemic areas, which are characterized usually by developing countries with areas of poor sanitation, as this disease is spread by a fecal-oral route. On history, these patients will often report high fevers, often up to 104 degrees Fahrenheit, leading to confusion or agitation, often with abdominal pain. The pain can sometimes be much more of a generalized pain and thus resemble the breakbone fever of dengue fever. The entire duration of this illness can often last up to one month. One characteristic finding on exam is pulsed temperature or sphingothermal dissociation, which describes the phenomenon of maintaining a normal and often bradycardic pulse despite very high fevers. We often expect the pulse to rise about 10 beats per minute for every 1 degree Celsius rise in temperature, which is not seen often in this disease. Another key finding in typhoid fever is the presence of small, often truncal, erythematous rash called a rose spot. In order to diagnose typhoid fever, one must isolate the culprit Salmonella typhi on culture as the serology has little role in this diagnosis. Of course, if we are going to discuss typhoid fever, the major differential I should discuss is typhus. If it is not already obvious, these diseases are actually quite similar, leading to the name typhoid fever literally meaning like typhus. Unlike typhoid fever, however, typhus is a rickettsial disease, and as such, it is not spread by the fecal-oral route due to poor sanitation practices like you would see in typhoid fever. This disease also has characteristically high fevers, although the pulse temperature dissociation, also known as Faget sign, is classically not present for typhus. Other findings include a rash, but this rash will differ from the classic rose spots that we see in typhoid fever, and often these patients will also have photophobia. Thus, an ideal illness script for typhoid fever would be a 45-year-old man endorses a one-week history of fever, headache, and abdominal pain following return from a trip to Southeast Asia, prior to which he did not receive any specific vaccinations for his travel. He is found to have a fever of 104 degrees Fahrenheit, blood pressure of 100 over 80, heart rate of 50, with erythematous macular rash over his trunk and diffuse tenderness to palpation over his abdomen. Blood cultures are positive for Salmonella enterica subtype typhi. His symptoms improve following initiation of ciprofloxacin. Thank you for watching. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to this channel, and leave a comment with ideas for future videos and ways to improve my channel. Until next time.